Hey my love, welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am Suki for those who don't know. So as I mentioned in my last video, today I will be trying out the items I picked up from Mr. Price, the new makeup. And um, also the lippies that I got from Legit. So first things first, I will be using the beauty blenders from Mr. Price. So I took out this one in case I need one for setting my powder, even though I don't think I will need one. So I took out this one just in case and I made the green one damp. So if you were wondering, the beauty blenders are very soft, as you can see. Very soft, I think. I need to get another pack because I don't like washing beauty blenders like I feel like when I want to record today I need a beauty blender at least two and then same thing tomorrow too and then when I decide to wash my beauty blenders I wash everything all at once so I think I'm going to get another pack because they are so soft so I made this one damp for my concealer so let's put this away and then from the two powder puffs i will be using the pink one okay cool i think let me just start doing my face i've already moisturized i will go straight in with the primer so this is the hydrating primer from mr price so with the primer, I think I will go in with two pumps. Okay, I'll add another pump on the side. So, um, there was three pumps. So this is a hydrating primer. I really love that. Um, I've used it already and I really like how it feels on my face I don't know why I'm applying it with my hand when I have a primer brush but it's okay so with this primer you don't really need three pumps I just went overboard you can get away with only two pumps and then what's next okay let's use foundation i didn't get foundation from mr price so i'll just go in with my l'oreal foundation oh no i need to color correct first i cannot go on without color correcting do i use my orange corrector or my makeup revolution Okay, I'll go in with my Black Radiance Concealer Stick just to color correct. Is the primer even dry? It's been a while since I did my makeup on camera. It has really been a while. Is the primer set? Okay, um, I think so. Let me go in to color correct under my eyes because I have um, discoloration around my mouth because we have discoloration and if you can see any pimples on my face like this one please ignore this hand it is the time of the month it's not the time of the month but it's about to be so yeah so ignore that pimple it is so painful so i'm taking this flat foundation brush from real techniques just to blend in this um concealer and this concealer is very creamy that's one thing i like about it i 
I don't see black radiance at this cam anymore. Or is it my disc cam? Uh -uh, it's not only my disc cam, I've been to another disc cam. And I haven't seen black radiance products or the stand. I'm not sure. I think it's South Africa. Black radiance is discontinued. Okay, cool. Color correct concealer is on. I'll go in with two pumps. One and a half of foundation. Let me just apply some Vaseline. Going in with my foundation before we start using the items so let me just quickly blend in this foundation then i will come back So these are my concealers um let's start with this one so i decided to go with the shade to conceal with this one so that's how the concealer looks like one thing i'm not sure of is if it dries down um too quickly is it matte or hydrating i'm not sure of that so let's see if it is hydrating or matte okay i don't like the smell of it though I really don't like the smell of it. The consistency is very light. So I think it is a very lightweight concealer. So that's why I keep adding and applying more. I don't like the smell of it honestly I don't like the smell of it I think I'm going to take a brush on one side and then I'll take a beauty blender on the other side just to see how it looks so I'm blending it in with a brush this side it's a very light consistency it's very lightweight so it definitely won't give you full coverage. Um, you only use this one if you want a no makeup makeup look. If you want to look like you're not wearing any makeup, this is the concealer you can use. It is very lightweight. Like I'm blending it, it looks like it's disappearing in my face. Like looking at it now. I can barely see it I also think the brush is really picking up the product so that's how the concealer looks like blend it out You can barely see the concealer. So this side, let's go in with my beauty blender. Mm, I like this beauty blender. It is so soft. I really like it. As you can see, you can barely see the concealer. So I was just really trying to conceal. This is definitely a concealer you use. 
when you want um, a no makeup makeup look if you are going for a full face definitely you cannot use this concealer it just disappeared into my face okay oh I cannot stop complimenting this beauty blender it is so soft it's softer than all of my beauty blenders I kid you not I kid you not and I like the way it blends, but it really picks up the product, as you can see. I like the way it blends. So as you can see, we were concealing. We were not highlighting. So let's try out. So that was the shade Caramel Fudge. So let's try out the lighter one, which is Misty Beige. very runny and very lightweight Ooh, the way it looks on camera mm -mm. Mm -mm, too light it's not ideally the shade i would go for under my eyes but then i was struggling to get a concealer and i thought to myself taking these two concealers um, they would, you know, complement each other and give me the shade I want. But by the look of things, that's not how it looks like. I added a bit more. So let's blend out and see. Let's start with a brush on the side. Okay, I think on both sides, let's first blend with a brush. And then we'll go in with a beauty blender. Okay, let's go in with a beauty blender. So as always, to blend out the harsh lines, we go in with our foundation brush. So that we remove the demarcation between the foundation. I didn't contour today. Should I contour? Yeah, let me contour. I cannot go without a contour. I'm so used to it. I cannot just a bit because by the look of things we are going for an everyday look because of the concealers because of the concealers I'm not sure what the powder is going to give the setting powder the loose setting powder I hope it doesn't disappoint me so I'm just blending this um, concealer with my contour brush from Real Techniques. Right. And then let's blend out my contour using this pointy brush. So now I'm going to use the Perfecting Mineral Translucent Loose Powder. The lid is so transparent. But yeah, we're going to go in with the setting powder. I like this. So you won't get a lot of mess because you will cover up. So let's open it up.
Okay, cool. So this was the setting powder. Um, it looks promising. It really does. So next up, we are going in with the pressed powder just to set the rest of my face. And I think I took a light shade, but let's see. It definitely looks like we took a light shade, so I will go in with a bit of my LA Go pressed powder just to powder up the rest of my face. And you literally cannot see the powder underneath my eyes. That's how light it is. It's very lightweight. So I'm not sure if you can see on camera. Um, my under eye is a bit... Um, it looks like it's not concealed. I don't know on camera what you can see. But looking in the mirror, I look like I haven't concealed my under eye. So next up, let's try out this setting spray, the Flawless Prep and Prime setting spray. And let's see. So this is the full face after trying out some new makeup products. And the face is not looking bad, to be quite honest. This face looks good. It's not looking bad. It's just that the under eye, um, in person, it doesn't look fully concealed. Otherwise, the face still looks good. It doesn't look bad. Um, this fly is annoying me. Anyways. Um, so we tried out the primer, the hydrating primer. I love it. Um, it is staying in my everyday makeup collection. We tried the beauty blenders. I didn't wet this one, but we did wet this one. And it is definitely staying in my everyday makeup collection because it is very soft. I love it. And then we also tried the powder i just took a shade that is a bit lighter um so i think i will use the shade to dust off my under eye um if it's a bit too light but i think i'm going to get another um shade which is a bit darker to set the rest of my face but otherwise i like the powder it sets the foundation and then we also tried this um mineral translucent powder it is very light it has a light consistency but it did set my under eye and i am not creasing as of right now i'm not creasing at all and i don't see signs of creasing my problem is over here here here's my problem so i will only use these concealers when i know I am running errands. I just need my brows done and a bit of concealer on my face and powder. That's it. That is the time I will use these concealers because they are very lightweight. They disappear into the skin. They disappear into the foundation. So, um, yeah, I will only use these ones when I know I just need just something on my face. Otherwise, if you want a full face of makeup, I do not recommend these concealers. They won't work. You can try to build it up. <laughs> it won't work. So, yeah. I will just use these just to add something under my eyes. And then lastly, the setting spray. Love it. 
I ran out of space as I was saying I love 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 the setting spray I don't know if you can see this face is not fully matte it has a bit of shine not shine shine but it's because of the setting spray like I really love how the makeup feels on my face that's what I've been wanting for the longest time I've been searching for a hydrating setting spray um, and this one is staying it is staying it's not going anywhere um, it's staying in my everyday makeup collection because I don't like when everything is matte when your foundation is matte concealers are matte and also setting spray is matte I don't like that so I've always wanted everything else to be matte besides my setting spray and that's exactly what I got so I really like that oh Sana we are running out of space so we had load shedding while I was trying to finish this video while I was speaking so um, I've been gone for two hours 40 minutes I even took a nap I slept with this makeup on because I was very tired I took a nap and I woke up not so long ago to finish this video so in other words we were also testing out the makeup just to see how it's going to hold up and as you can see for yourself the face is still sitting i haven't even creased under my eye so the concealer and the powder didn't crease me at all i still look good as you can see the face is still sitting the makeup still looks good i really love that so um yeah let's end off this video as i mentioned i like the products um yeah uh, these ones um this one i don't like this brown um i can definitely tell that i could love this mauve but the only problem with these two is the fact that they are not matte otherwise i really loved these two shades but um i don't like this brown shade at all because it looks like it is a metallic brown i hate the look of that kind of a brown on my lips um but yeah these are all the items tested out and they are staying in my makeup um collection they are not going anywhere i really hope you enjoyed this video i really hope you enjoyed playing with makeup with me um please don't forget to like comment subscribe share the video and also turn on your post notification bell so that you get notified every single time i upload a new video i will see you in my next upload